Um, I'm not sure whether I did this video or not, so I'm, I'm going to do it again. Uh, we talked this weekend and last weekend about... I was talking in my class about regular physics, like physics, physics, you know, if you take a bar magnet, you know, a piece of steel that is a magnet, and if you hit it hard enough with a hammer, it will become a piece of steel, apparently. It will have no magnetic capacity at all. And then to get it to retrieve its former magnetic state, and apparently as strong as it ever was, you rub it against another magnet, and it once again becomes a North Pole, South Pole, really, really magnetic. And that's the analogy we use to life. Uh, we were filming, we film people in the class, and, and the first time you look at them, you see how life has hammered them, sometimes hammered the shit out of them. And a lot of their magnetism is gone. Or not gone, it's just greatly diminished. They're older, they're weary, they're, and you see a lot of the emotions that come along with that. The cynicism, the despair, the, um, uh, the word I can't think of, hmm. resignation. Resignation, you, and you can see it in a lot of the, the first pictures. And then we refilm them after just pointing all of these things out to them. Not just, not, we don't make it wrong, we don't judge it, we just observe and see what we see there. And what we know we, we're seeing is how life has pressured people and what it is costing them in their vitality and their magnetism. And so then all weekend, we recharge their magnets. We show them how to keep defaulting to the pristine operating system so that they get more magnetized to the life that they want to live. Okay, Now, my course is called self-actualization, not MIC actualization. If it were MIC actualization, then I would want something for them. I would be trying to tell them to get to, they could live this magnificent life, but I don't know whether they're going to live a magnificent life. What I do know is if they can restore their electromagnetic field to where they're attractive to the magnificent things in life, then all I have to do is look and see where they want to move. What I say is there's no, whether, one of the things that may happen after my weekend, and it seems to happen, is you may notice windows of opportunity more. And it's not whether you step through the window of opportunity or not, it never is that. It's who you are when you do step through the window, or who you are when you don't step through the window of opportunity. If you make yourself a wrong not stepping through it, that's not right. Or it is, it just, it's just, it's less than efficient. If you make yourself wrong for stepping through, it's just less than efficient. So it's a response as opposed to react. Uh, we looked at it last week. I don't take your stress away in life. There's nothing I can do about the stress that you create in your life. But in a weekend, if we can recharge your electromagnetic system to higher states of awareness and higher states of efficiency, your stress will seem less. It will seem manageable. And it may even seem fun www.micpeakperformance.com